1945, near the end of World War II, kamikaze pilot Kamikaze Shikishima lands on a Japanese base on Odo Island. His escape is discovered by the lead mechanic, Tachibana, who figures out that Shikishima pretended to have technical problems to avoid his duties. That night, Godzilla attacks the garrison. Shikishima, frozen with fear, cannot bring himself to shoot the monster from his plane and is knocked unconscious. Tachibana, the only other survivor of the attack, blames Shikishima for not acting. Shikishima goes back home and discovers that his parents were died in the bombing of Tokyo. Filled with survivor's guilt, he becomes a minesweeper and starts helping Noriko Aishi, a woman who also lost her parents in the bombing, and an orphaned baby named Akiko, whom Noriko rescued. Meanwhile, Godzilla is mutated and empowered by the United States nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll. It destroys several American warships as it is heading for Japan. The U.S. doesn't provide much assistance because of problems with the Soviet Union. The U.S. provides a couple of old Japanese Navy ships that General Douglas MacArthur allowed. The Japanese government, worried about causing panic, keeps the danger a secret. In May 1947, Shikishima and his minesweeper crew are given the daunting task of delaying Godzilla's advance. They try to release a mine into Godzilla's mouth, and they successfully detonate it, causing significant damage, but it proves worthless as Godzilla's regenerative powers defy their efforts. The heavy cruiser Takao then engages Godzilla, but is subsequently destroyed when Godzilla unleashes its heat ray. After returning to Tokyo, Shikishima opens up to Noriko about his encounters with Godzilla. Days later, Godzilla makes landfall in Japan and attacks Ginza, where Noriko works. Noriko narrowly survives the initial attack and reunites with Shikishima. Enraged by tank fire, Godzilla obliterates much of the district with its heat ray, killing tens of thousands of people. There, Noriko is caught in the blast and presumed dead. Devastated by this loss, Shikishima now vows revenge. Frustrated by the government's inaction, one of the minesweeper's crew, a former naval engineer, Kenji Noda, devises a plan to destroy Godzilla by luring it out to Sagami Bay. They're surrounded with Freon tanks and rupturing them by lowering the water's buoyancy and sinking it. And if it fails, they'll use the balloons to force it back up, killing it through explosive decompression. To enact his plan, Noda has recruited the Navy veterans to crew disarmed IJN destroyers. And Shikishima recruits Tachibana to repair a broken down Kyushu J 7W Shinden fighter. He plans to kill Godzilla in a suicide attack by flying into its mouth and detonating the explosive charges on board. He leaves Akiko in the care of his neighbor Sumiko. When Godzilla resurfaces again, Shikishima lures it into the trap set by two destroyers. It survives the initial plunge and then breaks free before being forced back up. With the help of a fleet of tugboats, the ships haul Godzilla to the surface. An enraged Godzilla prepares to destroy all the vessels with its heat ray, but... Shikishima crashes the plane into its mouth and destroys its head and the energy of its heat rays tear its body apart.
The crew celebrates as they saw Shikishima ejecting before the explosion and parachutes to safety, and he remembered when Tachibana tell him to let go of his guilt and choose to live. After all this, Shikishima visits a hospital where he reunites with Noriko, who survived the destruction, but has a black bruise creeping up her neck. Meanwhile, a chunk of Godzilla's flesh begins to regenerate as it sinks into the ocean, 